everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael Lover and I'm going to be filming a beauty cosmetics haul as well as a quick haul from the Met. So this is all from yesterday, August 24th, and I basically went to the beauty cosmetics pop-up store, which is about to close on the 31st here in New York City, and I picked up my perfume that I pre-ordered back in the end of June. So yeah, I just have this bag here and I've been wanting to do this for a very long time however I was out basically the entire day yesterday and now I finally have time to show this to you guys actually first of all there's a little coupon thingy because there's a raffle because they are closing and they would like to do something special I guess or yeah anyways um there is a poster and I'm going to show that later so what I have in here is a receipt. Um, okay, so first things first, the thing is not the thing that is not the perfume. Um, this is just a cleanser, and I actually saw this in a YouTuber's video. It's a bit dirty, but it's a really pretty box and. Yeah, there's the VT Cosmetic sticker, and you just take the sticker off to use it. I'm actually going to go cut this. Oh. This is what the cleanser looks like. Oh wow, it is really pretty. So yeah, I decided to get this because the store isn't going to be there for much longer. I wonder what it smells like. Yeah, there's like this little foil thing that you have to peel off to use. So I will just do that later. But yeah, there's that. And then let's just get into this stuff. There's like a bunch of other stuff in here. Oh, that's my ticket from the Met. Okay, so for the perfume, I got Demon's perfume. So this is the powder one. And I also have the Standee. And the Standee I did get Demon's. So yeah. Oh my god, I have my two biases and gin now. So, yeah, we have gin tea. So, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this. Okay, so, as you can see, this one is a bit different because it has this yellow ribbon instead. And for ocean, it has a purple one, like my nails. <laughs> and, yeah, so I'm just going to open it. As you can see, this box is really pretty. And I can't really get over that because it's just so simple, but it looks so nice. I really don't know how I'm going to store this. Like where I'm going to put it. But I definitely need to get a new shelf. And just like new furniture in general. I'll probably get that in like November or December. Let's just open this up. Is that? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, so as you can see, it's yellow. And I already... Let's see if it's easier to take out this time. Last time they were so... Yeah, it's really hard to take out of this thing. To be fair, I really don't need this set. Um, I might keep it. One for collectors, like for my collection, and another one just to like put up and not be too worried about the backs or whatever. I haven't smelled this perfume in a very long time, so I'm really excited about it. I'm pretty... Oh my god, this one is really hard to take out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so nothing much to say about the other scents, unlike last time. Um, I already opened this in the last one, so I will link that in the info cards in case you want to look at these. But I'm not going to I'm not going to open them. This is probably just gonna stay in the box or I don't know. So, anyways, there's that. And I'm going to open this.
Wait. Mm. It has this bit of a yellow tinge to it. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's not the box. Definitely has a bit of a tinge to it. Notice there's a little bit of a texture on the bottle. But yeah, oh my god, it's so pretty. Wait, hold up. I have to bring Ocean here. Here is Ocean for reference. As you can see, the powder, the Pudra one, is very yellow in comparison. Which I was not expecting. Because I thought it was mostly Shuga's Vert that was like that. Oh, I didn't even notice that the bottom has like a description, basically. And it's all in Korean. I guess, I don't actually know how to pronounce this. It says old pudrehe. I don't know how to... That was probably such a fail. Anyways. Yeah, so now I have both my biases. I'm very, very happy about that. I just did it and it's right here. Mm, it smells a bit different than how I remembered it to be. Very different. It's not as sweet as I remember it to be. Hmm, interesting. I don't know, it must have mixed with something last time and it made it way sweeter. What if it, I, it might have been gins. Hmm, it's quite different from last time. I think it's because it was mixed with gins, for real. It's really not as sweet. But I can smell other things with it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well. Wait, was, oh, it was in the box. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it outside of the box like that. Should I assemble it and show you guys? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. But yeah, that is the perfume. Wow. Okay. And there's one more thing in this box. And that is the other gift that this purchase comes with. If you buy enough stuff, they give you like a really big bag with their faces on it. Which is super cute. And... Then we have the clear cards that come with the newer um, line of makeup, which is the Stay one, I believe. Yeah, it's a Stay right there. Yeah, I'm really excited about this because I've been wanting these for so long, but they go for so expensive. Oh, very strong adhesive. Okay. Oh my god, I'm really excited. I clearly can't clearly can't tell they look like oh oh my god wow these are gorgeous they are like very scratchy though but that's like oh inevitable i guess actually no i think that's the fabric never mind that's like the fabric on of his um jacket oh, it's so pretty and then we have hobies That's so interesting. Wait. Oh my god, wait, who, hold up. You have to put this over, like, wait, if you put this over black, obviously it's not going to work. But if you put it over this, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to use this box. Wow, they're so pretty. Here's Jin again. Wow. It's like, this is really cool, like, when you see the sun through it, but then when you put it over top, the colors are so vibrant. I was not expecting that. I don't know why. But yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then we have Jungkook and super cute, you know? Yeah. And then super vibrant. Like, you really see the makeup. Like, his eye makeup and his lips. Oh, I can't believe this baby is turning 23 in a few days. Okay. And then we have Namjoon. Love all the photos that he's just, you know, posting on Twitter to update us on how he's relaxing. I kind of want to try this makeup. I might go and get them. I don't know. I mean, the pop-up store is about to close, but like, I don't know if I need it. That's why I didn't get them, but. And then we have Jimin. Love this look on him. I just love how the colors just pop once they're put over the white. 
but they look really cool like this too. I was gonna say they look really whitewashed, but when you put it on top, it's like magical. And then we have the last one, which is V. Super, super pretty. Looks like this and like that. So those are the clear cards that should come with um, purchases of this particular line. Um, but they gave them away for free for our, the first 100 customers along with the poster, which I will open later. So there's that. And I also went to the Met yesterday. So, yeah. Um, so I have the little map thing. And the Met is a really big place. If you're coming here for the first time, you need a lot of time there. This was my second time going. I haven't been there. I hadn't been there um, for four years, actually. So a very long time. But it didn't change much and I was able to explore some newer areas of the museum that I had not been to and also just revisit some areas that I had walked by very briefly four years ago um, and so when I was walking around I saw multiple kiosks so I have this bag that has some things that I bought so I bought some pins and the first one that I have here is this one that is inspired by a very famous Japanese painting and this is the, yeah, it's the ocean one and it's um, the great, I guess it's called the great wave. So here it is and these pins are $10 each um, and there is a deal to buy three and get them for 20 but I only wanted this one so I just got this one. And then I also have this pin set, and this is just um, the pin set that is specific to the Apollo Muse exhibit that they have there for their 50th anniversary, and this just made me think of Namjoon and Moonchild. Basically, my whole visit there, I was just thinking of Namjoon and how he was there in May, and the pictures, I mean the paintings that he was looking at. So, yeah, just made me think of Namjoon, and I'm going to take these out. And this pin, this pin set was $25. So it does have a little description. I didn't even read it yet. Oh, yeah. And it's just a really pretty pin set. This little thing reminded me of Namjoon at uh, Mama in Hong Kong. And it's just a nice thing to have. Yeah, actually, let me take them off. Maybe you'll see them better off, the, off of the backing. Oh, and I forgot to show. I don't think, did I take the, I don't know if I took that one off the backing. But the back actually says the Met, and it's really cute. I was not expecting that. So this is what the, no, I'm shaking, but this is what the astronaut one looks like. Oh, so cute. I don't know how strong this part would be, but it's just an American flag. This one is so pretty, and it also says the date. So those are the Apollo... Apollo's Muse, um, the Moon in the Age of Photography pins. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, everyone.